Dear Giant Cell Phone Company, Though it was fun paying you $191 every month, there was just something about having to feed my three kids that inspired me to look for ways to reduce that payment. In doing so, you'll never believe what I discovered. I can keep my phone, keep my phone number, and keep calling, texting, and Facebooking just as I did before. Except now I'm doing it for free. How about that? I'm sure it was just an oversight on your part that I wasn't aware of this, so I've decided to tell all my friends and family how to do it too. Oh, and sorry, I have to terminate my contract. Please tell your CEO it's nothing personal. Hello everybody, I am going to show you how to completely eliminate your cell phone bill. Here's what you need. A smartphone and a Wi-Fi connection. And here is what you do. Move your current phone number into Google Voice and download a free app to your phone. That's it. Phone bill eliminated. Now for people who are like my mom, who are scared of technology and Start to hyperventilate when you hear the word app. Keep watching. I am going to hold your hand and walk you through everything you need to know and do to take your money back from these giant corporations and put it to work in your own life. My family has been using our iPhones for free for some time now. So this project is specific to Apple devices. However, the technology holds true across all platforms, so I'm going to be speaking in general terms by referring to smartphones. My vision for this video is to bring a little financial relief to those of you who need it as much as we do. To enhance the experience and make it even easier for you to do this too, I created a document that you can print out to make notes on and follow along as needed. To access that, go to my website, openyoureyelids.com and view my post, Phone Bill Not. If only one of you watching dumps your phone bill for free, it would make this entire effort worth it. So please let me know if you do by commenting on that post. Now, grab a cup of coffee, go at your own pace by pausing and fast forward me as needed, and have fun with it. Here's to more joy and less stress. Please understand that all the information here is based on my own research and my own experience. And I wanted to point out that even if you don't have a smartphone, but you do have an iPad or even an iPod Touch, you can still keep your phone number and eliminate your cell phone bill by using that device for calls and texting following the same steps that I'm about to show you. So even you die-hard flip phone lovers out there may want to snag one of these bad boys off a of Craigslist so that you can eliminate your cell phone bill too. To start us off, let's talk about the pros and cons of using your smartphone for free with Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and get the con out of the way. Where there is no Wi-Fi, there is no service, with the exception of 911, which I'll get to in a second. That being said, many of us have Wi-Fi most everywhere we go. For example, I have Wi-Fi at my house, where I work, at all my favorite coffee shops, restaurants, and bars, at my friends' houses, my kids' school, the library, Target, Starbucks, McDonald's, and most every other store I go to. Which leaves me with no Wi-Fi while I'm in my car and walking on sidewalks. But you know, I heard somewhere that texting and driving kills people anyway, and God forbid I look up and notice another human being while I'm walking between Wi-Fi connections. To save 191 bucks a month, and quite possibly some lives, those are sacrifices I'm happy to make. You might be thinking, but oh God, what if I break down on the road? Good news, guys, you can still call 911. In fact, every cell phone out there can. It's required by law. Even the old flip phone in the back of the kitchen drawer whether it has service or not, can still call 911. And I tested it. It's totally true. 
not to mention the hundreds of people driving by who are still paying 200 bucks a month, I'm sure one of those nice folks would be happy to help you. Also, by entering a Wi-Fi connection, you will be notified of missed calls, texts, and voicemails that came in while you weren't connected, so you don't even have to worry about missing anything. And if you're on a road trip in the middle of nowhere, well, you probably won't have service anyway. Now let's talk about the beautiful and brilliant pros. It's free. You have unlimited voice, text, data, and apps as always. Wi-Fi is way faster than cell data. Wi-Fi extends your phone's battery life up to 50%. And did I mention? It's free! Alrighty, so my focus here is to show you how to keep your current phone number by moving it to Google Voice. A huge benefit of this is not only can you keep your current phone number forever in one place, but you can also set that one number to ring multiple phones like home, work, or any other cell phone you choose. There is a one-time fee of 20 bucks to move your number to Google Voice. If you don't care about keeping your number, Google Voice will give you a new one for free. And here are a couple good things to know moving forward. Your cell phone company doesn't own your phone number. You do. You can move it whenever and wherever you please. And breaking your phone contract is not nearly as scary as the giant cell phone companies might like us to think it is. These companies have maximum termination fees, which are pro-rated based on how much time you have left in your contract. For example, I had 12 months left in my contract. My pro-rated termination fee was 240 bucks. Hmm, do I pay a one-time termination fee of 240 bucks to eliminate 191 bucks a month for the next 12 months? Why, yes, I most certainly do. If you don't have a contract or your contract is up, wonderful. If you're still under contract, just call your phone company and ask them how much they're going to charge you to leave it. Let's talk about devices for a second. Modern smartphones are mini computers. They can use any Wi-Fi, just like laptops, tablets, iPads, and iPod touches. And contrary to what the giant cell phone companies might like us to believe, you don't have to have a contract in order to access Wi-Fi on these devices. On a side note, whether your iPhone is locked or unlocked has nothing to do with its ability to use Wi-Fi without a contract. But unlocking it does allow you to take your phone to another carrier, and for the newer iPhones, to use SIM cards for international travel and for way cheaper pay-as-you-go plans. So I'd recommend getting your phone unlocked before canceling your contract, just to leave all options open for you down the road. To do this, make a separate call to your international department and ask them to unlock your phone for international travel. That's the broadest unlock there is for iPhones, and you don't need to explain yourself. To complete the unlock process, just back up and restore your phone on iTunes, which you can do whenever you want, if and when you need to. Now, before you cancel your contract and in order to use these free apps, make sure your Apple device is running 6.0 or higher. To check that, go to your phone settings, click on General, click on About, and next to version, you can check the number there. Okay, so let's move your number to Google Voice, which is directly associated with a Gmail account. You may already have a Gmail account, in which case, just go ahead and log in. And if you don't, let's create one. So to create a Gmail account, go to gmail.com and click on Create Account. Then fill in the information here needed. And don't forget to write down your username and password. And then just click on through the buttons, next step, until, yay, you have a Gmail account. Go ahead and continue to Gmail. Once you're in Gmail, go straight up to the address bar of the window that you're in if you want and type in google.com backslash voice. And voila, because you were already logged into Gmail, it dumps you right into your Google Voice account. Go ahead and accept the terms right here and click Proceed. Now you also may have seen this screen, which means that somewhere back in the day you already created a Google Voice number. And you're going to see that old number right here. For you guys, come over here, click on the wheel, and choose Settings. Then next to your phone number that you see there, click on Change Port, which will take you to this screen, and you're going to choose I want to use my mobile number. So click that. 
If you're setting up a Google Voice number for the first time, you'll see this screen. Click, I want to use my mobile number. Now type in your phone number and check for available options. If you're with Sprint, you're going to see these three options. And if you're with one of the other guys, you will only see these two options. Either way, you want to choose this option, port your number to Google Voice. So click on port your number. Okay, so hopefully you'll see congratulations, your mobile number can be ported. And we're going to go ahead and click through all the boxes that pop up here. The cost of porting is 20 bucks. Your mobile phone service plan will be terminated, and that's automatically when you port your number to Google Voice and your carrier may charge you an early termination fee. Once porting is complete, you will not be able to receive calls to your mobile phone until you complete the following steps. You guys, this whole section, I have a hunch, was written to keep the peace with the giant cell phone companies. It really should read like this. Once porting is complete, unless you are using a free app on a Wi-Fi connection, you will not be able to receive calls, blah, blah, blah. I did not set up a new phone, mobile phone service plan, and I did not add a new number as a forwarding number in Google Voice. You may be unable to receive text messages up to three business days. That wasn't the case for me, but it might be for you. If you had a Google Voice number, you will have 90 days to decide if you want to make that number permanent and you understand the risks. So go ahead and click on phone verification, in which case a little box is going to pop up and it will have a two digit code. Just click connect. It will call your phone, type in the two digit code and it will pop you into the next page. All right, so let's go ahead and make it official and port our numbers into Google Voice. You're going to need the account number from your current service provider. Fill in the rest of the information and click Next. Here is where you can verify your information is correct. Click Next to Google Wallet. Again, fill out the information here. If you like junk mail, by all means, click this. If you don't, unclick that box and continue. And lastly, you'll get the screen saying that your number porting is in process. It did take us exactly 24 hours for our number to port over which you'll get an email sent to you telling you when it's complete and you'll be ready to go. Again, as long as you're using Wi-Fi and a free app, I'll tell you about a couple of those in a minute, you're good to go. And here's the bit about if you still have a Google Voice number. And you are set. Okay guys, once your phone has officially been ported, go ahead and log into Google Voice by going to google.com backslash voice, which will allow you to log in directly. And once you're there, Go to the settings wheel up here and under phones, make sure that Google chat is checked. That will allow you to receive calls through the apps that I'm going to talk about. And it will also allow you to receive calls through your desktop computer when you're logged into Hangouts in your email. If that concept freaks you out, just skip this part, but I'm gonna tell you about it because it's one of my favorite features of Google Voice. When you're logged into Gmail, you're gonna see the option here to sign into Google Hangouts. So go ahead and sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll see your Google Chat Hangouts below. If you click on a particular contact, you'll see the options to video chat them, chat them regular, or shoot them an email. If you wanna call them right there through your computer, you can do that too. Just type in their number up here next to the picture of the telephone and press enter. If you have no interest in receiving calls through your computer, then just make sure you're logged out of Hangouts when your email is open. Click on your name, drop down to sign out. Okay, let's get back to Google Voice settings. Here in voicemail and text is where you can set up your Google voicemail. You can also have voicemails emailed to you and transcribed in an email if you want, and also have text messages forwarded to your email. If you don't like your email inbox cluttered up, just uncheck all of those boxes. Go to calls here, read through the options you may want to take advantage of, and don't want to clunk up your email, uncheck this box. And even here on groups and circles, you can actually set up voicemails for individuals or groups however you want, which is kind of neat. And that's about it. Okay, real quick before we get to apps, how do you get on Wi-Fi? For iPhones, go to settings, click on Wi-Fi, make sure it's set to on, and then you can choose what network you want to join. If it requires a password, just ask your friend or barista or wherever you are what the password to that network is. Apps. Finally, let's talk about apps. 
it is the wild, wild west out there in Appland because all the tech geeks know we can talk and text for free, and they all want the hot girl at the dance, which in this case is you and me using their app. With this fierce competition, apps are rapidly changing and improving, so we may have to switch apps from time to time, but big deal. For free, I'm happy to app switch. After all, how many apps do we open a day as it is? I have tried and tested a ton of them, but to keep it short, I'm going to talk about two. Hangouts and Talkatone. Hangouts by Google is a great app for voice calls, but right now we need to link it with a second app for texting, which isn't ideal. Since Talkatone is available and you can do everything within one app, that's the one I'm recommending for now. The thing there is that come May 15th, Google Voice is cutting off third-party apps, which means Talkatone will change. But four months in Appland is 50 years in people time. By then, hopefully Hangouts will be fully integrated into a one-stop shop. I'd go ahead and set up Talkatone now. That way, if they update it before May 15th, you'll still be able to use it as is for the next several months since you already had it. I love Talkatone because you can call and text within the same app. Both parties don't have to be using it. You have unlimited inbound and outbound calling with no catches. It's not perfect, but I'll happily give up perfect for free. And those who will are who I made this video for. So let's set it up. Apple people, go into your app store, search for Talkatone, and download the app. Once you've downloaded Talkatone, open it up, log in with your Gmail address and password, and go to settings and make sure the push notifications are set to on. That way you'll know when someone's contacting you. A couple tips here, at the very top of your contact screen, you will see all contacts. You can click on that and see just your iPhone contacts or your Google Chat contacts, or even just your favorites. And you can choose your favorites by opening a specific contact and clicking on favorites so the little star is highlighted. Also, and this is a great tip that will surely save you a little bit of frustration, <laughs> which is when you're not using your phone and a call comes in, to answer that call, slide the notification itself in the middle of the screen, not the slide to unlock bar at the bottom of your screen, which will just make you miss the call. And there are a few other quirky little things that take a little getting used to, but just remember, nothing is going to explode if you tap it or click on it. So tap around, get used to it. And if you have those moments of frustration, just remember, it's free. Instructions for the Hangouts app solution can be viewed in the supporting document of my post, Phone Bill Not, which you can view and print at my website, OpenYourEyelids.com, where my mission is to help bring more joy and less stress to you. Thanks for watching and enjoy being free.